Okay. In my front yard, there's no ground, no grass. Um, it's all ground cover. I have two dogwood trees there, and you can see that the leaves are changing color because it's fall. The birds ate the berries, almost all the berries. There are still some. Um, walking around here again, you can see the beautiful black and blue salvia and the lantana. I think that's called sunrise rose. Sunrise or sunset, I'm not sure. I'm going to try to overwinter that. It's growing in a pot. I'm walking forward and right in front of me I have three red porter weeds, ruby red throat porter weeds. Um, hummingbirds really like the, the porter weeds. I saw one this morning. And in the evening, the late evening, I can usually see them too. Um, at this time of the year, migration is happening with the hummingbirds and there's not too many left. There's also a porter, a purple porter weed that's not as large um, or robust as the red porter weeds. Um, I'm going to try to overwinter them also with cuttings. This is a large black adder agastache. That's a perennial. And this is a pentas, a tall pentas. Um, I'll take cuttings of that and try to root them so that I have it for next year also. And you can see the butterfly bush still has some blooms. Um, even the azalea has some re-blooms on it. Continuing walking up the path, there's another butterfly bush in back of the fence on the side yard. This is a bronze fennel, which the butterflies, if they were here, um, the black swallowtails, that's a host plant, um, but they were really missing this year. Here I have some, you can see pink zinnias that are in, in pots and some um, pineapple sage that's poking through the fence as well as um, pastas and there's still some flowering tobacco that's blooming and also some Brazilian verbena. I'm going to turn off the camera and go through the fence and start another video.